All right, so welcome to another video from the Chart Reader. So, what an amazing week. If you watched last week's breakdown of the major markets, I mean, it was pretty much on point. I'll be honest, I thought we were gonna close around 12.8. We hit 12.8 on Wednesday, and then clearly got over 13, and look how close we were to my line, people. Um, again, it's not about perfection, right? But when you're basically, what, $13 off the close, um, that's not too bad a thing, right? So hopefully you're gaining some confidence in these lines. Again, not financial advice, but hey, I do hope you're learning and hopefully you've seen that like if you do learn this stuff, there's there's some good that can come from it. So we're gonna do like we always do, right? We're gonna talk about the NASDAQ. We'll start here. We're looking on the daily and then I have not been lowering these. I've been kind of talking up here and then working my way down. Again, I always say 80% of the work is up here. This is kind of the last 20, right? So. Um, again, a lot to talk about, but let's just talk about the immediate and then I'll do a zoom out of a bigger picture. So, um, yeah, I actually don't know when I made this. I made this probably about a week ago, right? So if I had to guess, one, two, three, roughly around here, probably about five trading days ago, right? Um, we've basically broken the hundred at that point, right? And we've really just been riding this eight, right? Again, this is why I love the eight moving average, right? The green line right here. Once you can break the eight and once you can sincere, like down here, right? You're clearly below it. Once you can break it and actually regain it, it took a little while, right? There was a little bit of an up and down here, but once you regain it right here, you're pretty much just riding it, right? And hey, you might come down a little bit, but hey, whatever, right? There's even prettier ones on other tickers, but the eight is a beautiful moving average once you get it. So again, we basically broke the 100. It's been a long time, but again, we're still holding the 20. We're still holding the 50. Now that we've got the 100, there's only one left, right? And it's basically that purple line right there. I do think that this is gonna be an important line to break, right? This 1360. Clearly, the day went all the way, right? So it's not like it hit the wall. I'm pretty sure, let me just look over real quick. So if you look the high of the day, and the very top line are both 13047.19, right? So literally it ended on the high of the day. So it's not necessarily that the line blocked it, but it needs to get over that line. That's, that is gonna be really important, right? Just kind of sneaking down here, our RSI is getting really high, right? So we're now at 76. I owe, and I actually think we might be, this is kind of the highest we've had in a while. I gotta zoom back. Even that, right? So I mean, we're, we're pretty much at, at the peak of our RSI historically, right? At least over the last couple months, right through May. So I could see a little pullback. Again, I don't think anything crazy, but hey, we've gone all the way to the top of this channel, right? Between these two, maybe we come back to the middle, give or take, maybe we come back and touch the, the eight, you know? I don't know, I'm just kind of talking out loud, right? Um, I do want to talk about the overall downtrend. So I've shown this a couple times and really we're pretty much knocking on the door, right? So we've made this line a few times and look, we've actually broken it as of that close, right? So we need the confirmation and we need the confirmation that comes with this 13.6 break. But if in the next couple days it's green, I mean, we might be running back up to all time highs. I'm, you know, don't get me wrong, it's gonna take a while and all that, but um, this downtrend right here, I, I can't believe we got up to it as quick as we did. I'll be real honest. I remember really thinking that this was gonna just keep running. I remember when it was this, then it kind of turned into this, and then obviously, even if I just hold this, this little break right here is what caused a lot of that, right? But I mean, We've been on that upward, then moving to that upward, right? I mean, I don't know if we're gonna go even steeper, but generally, as you go steeper, 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 that's, that's how it looks, right? Don't get me wrong, this could still fail. We could not get the confirmation we want and then head back down, okay? So um, I'm obviously a little optimistic in my, in my tone and voice, but you know, a couple things still need to happen. I do want to check out the weekly, right? Again, now that I'm only kind of doing this roughly once a week, I think this is a really important view. So if you can hold the week, 
I mean, the week still has a lot of room to go up, right? Again, need to break this 13.6, but I can see us actually closing around 13.5 on Friday. So again, a little bit different of a tone from the daily, right? Because the daily I was saying it needs to cool down and stuff, but hey, it could cool down Monday, Tuesday, and then just fly Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, right? So just remember the time frame you're in and, and what that means. My cat's knocking on the door. Right, let me, hold on. We're making videos. So again, the weekly does look positive. And if you remember last week, I looked at this view and that's when I called the 10, eight, the 12, eight number, right? Which actually got broken. So, um, yeah, I think signs are looking at coming to the hundred, especially have we broke it. Look at that. We broke that. I love it. Perfect. 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 And then that's probably around the hundred, right? Yeah. Look at that. So again, I could see us coming, uh, around this hundred on by Friday, uh, 13, five. Nice, so cool. That was a quick view of the NASDAQ. Let's come over to the SP5. Okay, again, hopefully a lot of the same story from the NASDAQ falls over to here, right? Because I always say you want to see similarities across the three. NASDAQ, S&P, and Dow Jones pretty much should be doing the same thing because a lot of them actually have the same tickers within each other, right? So again, breaking the 100 on the daily, right? I love it. We've already taken the 20, we've already taken the 50, we've been riding this eight, all we got left is the 200. I love it, same story, right? Let's zoom out, let's zoom out, that's a good zoom. Where are we in the downtrend? Boom, boom. Okay, so not quite at the real downtrend line yet, okay? Because um, again, I'm going from this green here, I hit this green and then, you know, we've still got some room. That's a little interesting, right? I would like them all to kind of be at the line around the same point. Um, but again, still working its way up, right? So um, yeah, you can tell I'm a little, I didn't know that it was gonna be actually that much off. I actually, there's almost one big break. It almost needs to break the 200 before it gets as close as the, the NASDAQ was. But um, interesting, we'll see how that plays out. Nonetheless, the daily RSI again is a little high, so I could see maybe a little pullback in the beginning of the week, but let's see what the weekly looks like. Again, actually same basic story, right? I will say that this 13.3 and then what's the 50? So 13.03 and 13.47 are not that far off, right? Basically the red line in this. So I could see somewhere in the middle is where this might end. Again, I don't know if it's gonna break one, two, both, or either. Generally, it's hard to break one. It's a little even, it's a, that much harder to break a cluster, right? So, um, but yeah, overall, good low number on the RSI. Green is over red, green is over red on the MACD. So pretty much the same story with the S&P and the NASDAQ. Let's hit up the DJ30, the Dow Jones Industrial. Again, same basic view and I love it, right? Broke the 20, broke the 50, broke the 100. We've been riding the eight, took this line out and we're now actually at the 200. So the Dow is a little, is actually the closest to the 200, right? Um, the rest were actually a little further away. Let's see what this one's looking on the downtrend. Actually, it looks like it's pretty much on the line like the NASDAQ was, because I'm gonna go to that up there. Oh, did this guy break? Look at that. So look, again, this guy also broke, and I would say actually broke a little bit more than the NASDAQ did. So again, we need that confirmation, right? So I would basically say if we can get over that 200, that would be a pretty important um, confirmation. So um, yeah, pretty important times we're at right now, right? We're either, like I said, kind of like the same view. I know I just got rid of it, but let me just put it back real quick. Either this thing keeps going up or we do actually fail this and then we pretty much come back down, right? So we'll see. I will say again, I liked how the weeklies looked on the other one. Let's see how the weekly looks. Oops, I gotta change my thing back to the arrow. Again, great weekly, great. Let's just break that 50 on the weekly and then um, yeah, we're pretty much over because the 200's down here. We just pretty much broke the 100 and this line pretty monstrously. Monstrously? I don't know if that's a word, but you know what I mean. Look at that green. 
Um, so yeah, that is the last one right there is the 50 on the weekly. And again, all of the RSIs are around that low 50, which just in my head means if good things happen, we've got some strong weeks coming. So um, yeah, this was a, a, a quicker review, a quick 10 minute review of all three. Um, again, your stocks are only as good as the major markets, right? If the markets are going up, you put your money in and you you ride it, right? If the markets are going down, you take your money out. If you want to, you know, dollar average down, whatever all those words are, hey, you guys do you, right? Um, I'm not here to tell you how to use any of your money or give you any financial advice like that. But I stress it. This video, I'm only making it once a week because not that many views happen on these, but I literally do this every single day before I move any money because I need to know how these three are doing before I move my money, right? So um, yeah, I hope you're learning. Again, not financial advice. And then signing up on YouTube is the fastest way to get all the, the notifications. So have a great one.